How's it going guys? It's Cole from See Through Panel showing off Don to Don Volume 2 Story and Art by Yuki Nobutatsu, published by Viz and retailing for $10 US. Here is the book, traditional manga size compared to a trade paperback size book. And as always, I won't be spoiling anything too big, but I will be talking about the story and showing off the art and some pages that may have spoilers in them. So if you're worried about that, read this volume first. Preferably read volumes one and two first. Come back, we can talk about it. Now you guys probably saw, if you're watching this, you probably saw my first volume review, and this is gonna be very similar to that. It's gonna be a lot shorter than a lot of my videos usually are. Uh, just because I don't have a ton more to say, just a few new things that have popped up. If you're not familiar with this story, what it is is the story of two, I believe high school students, um, Okarun or Ken Takakura and Momo Oyase. Momo is a ghost and paranormal fanatic, and Okarun is, um, he's into UFOs, the, uh, the paranormal, the supernatural, whatever. They all, there's a lot of crossover between their beliefs, but also a lot of things that are a lot different. So the story's about ghosts, it's about aliens, it's about spirits and all these kinds of fantasy elements that kind of combine into a wacky world. And if you did see my first video, you would know that the main problem I had was Fan service, which these nice colored pages at the front are very pretty, but um, that is kind of what I meant, and I'm happy to report that that is a lot less prevalent in this second volume. Second volume picks right up where the first volume ended, with our main characters running, and it quickly wraps up that first arc in a nice little bow with some lingering threads, it's, as it should in any ongoing story, and gives us a nice middle between arc breathing room that I think is really nice for characterization in a lot of books where we get to rest and hang out and get some kind of more personal, more relaxed moments with our characters and really get to know them. And before we jump right into the second arc, which gets crazy as well compared to the first arc even, I, it's going to be very weird. Um, the whole thing's weird but in a really, really charming way. That's the whole thing I, I have with this book is that Sometimes stuff doesn't make sense, and it's just super weird and off the wall and wacky. But they always tie it back together in either a funny way or a very heartwarming way. And I'm also just in love with Yuki Nobutatsu's art. I think his, um, there we go, wow. His use of the horror, like, elements is really interesting to me. I think his perspective and a lot of his kind of spreads and splash pages have a lot of horror inspiration in them. But the book's really not that serious, and is actually quite funny a lot of the time. Very weird character, creature design there. Although his character design is awesome. And I'm just, yeah, I'm very happy that this book keeps going in the way that I hoped it would. Keeping a lot of the elements that I really enjoyed from the first book, kind of throwing away some of the things I didn't. And here's, a, here's the one spoiler I'm going to give in this book. You could stop here and skip like 30 seconds ahead if you don't want to see it. But um, the book kind of goes into a romance type thing, type of a kind of arc, which I don't know if it'll continue like that or if this is just a side gag or what, but um, I think that's a better, more mature way to go instead of the fan service. Uh, here's the less like action-packed, more kind of home school, like the school life and the home life things that happen in the middle. I think that's a better way to go is that um, romance type thing uh, rather than the fan service and that kind of stuff, which is still sometimes happening here. But I think it's really cute the way that he set this up and I think it's a lot more charming and interesting in general as a story. So happy that it ended up going that way. And um, <laughs> let me see if I can find the... There is a similar page to this in Volume 1 that you probably remember if you read it, and it just keeps... It gets me every time. Makes me laugh, this kind of thing happening. And, uh... Yeah, this is getting better and better. All of my favorite elements have stayed, and all of my least favorite elements have gone away, and I think that what we have left is a really charming, action-packed, ridiculously well-drawn story that is probably some of the best manga I've ever read. And for me, this new cat character is something I love. Let's see if we can get the cat in action. Very cartoony, and I love that. The interesting thing about reading something like this is that 
Dawn to Dawn is really the first ongoing manga I've had a part of where I'm, I'm reading it as it's coming out, or at least in, a, in a, uh, English. And uh, it's really interesting that it's super good, and I would compare it to these things that I've read that are like very highly acclaimed um, classics in the manga genre, like Akira, Blame, Berserk, Blade of the Immortal. Um, I wouldn't really put Death Note up there, but it's very well regarded. And those are the things that I've read before. I've read, like, classics of the genre, and this is something that I would put up with those, even though it's just still ongoing. It could definitely go off the rails and just be um, a shell of its formal, former self if it goes too long. I know that some stories overstay their welcome, but something like this, it has such a casual kind of nature, and things are thrown in seemingly at random and explained later with rules that are questionable at best, but make sense in the world of the story. Um, I think there's a lot of charm to that kind of storytelling and a lot of humor to be found in that. And with our characters developing the way they are, and I think we're really getting to know them, I think the other elements that I've talked about recently that um, will make this really interesting and have a lot of interesting character dynamics developing throughout. Personally, the, the kind of thing that I said that was spoilery, in case people skipped it, I don't want to say it. I hope that continues, because I think it's really kind of cute and really fun in terms of how our characters bounce off each other, and with a growing cast of characters that I think we're getting, uh, I think it'll be even more interesting with that. So, also I really don't read stories of that nature, and I would really love to get into one sometime, because I know a lot of people really, really enjoy them. I'm speaking very vaguely now, and I hope I didn't lose my... I didn't lose the thread there, hopefully not. Just a few more pages I want to show off before I'm done. But yeah, like I said, this will be rather short. Um, yeah, just kind of continuing my thoughts from Volume 1. Not a lot has changed. I really enjoyed it, but I enjoyed it even more so than Volume 1. It's phenomenal. I'm going to continue to collect it, and because this is one of the first ongoing mangas that I'm reading, and it's this good, I think I'm probably going to have to get the... Is it the Viz app or the Shonen Jump app or something where they you can read pretty much everything from Shonen Jump? I'm going to try some ongoing stories because this was phenomenal. And I really want to get exposed to more different things I haven't heard of before. Maybe some more. It won't be indie if it's Shonen Jump. But eventually I'll get there and I'll be in the indie scene hopefully of manga. Because I would really love to see what that looks like. So if you've got anything to recommend to me in terms of manga, please do. Um, I'm really interested in more modern stories, things that aren't those classic stories that I've read before. Um, I'm interested in recent ongoings that I can catch up on. They don't have to be short like this is, where there's only two out, two volumes out in America. But whatever you guys think I would like, please let me know. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Peace.